first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number four on the topic calendar we are going to solve five question based on the concept called on what dates it's most important topic because if you look into any memory based equation of railway exams or a state government exams or a staff selection even if you see any it sector interviews like tcs uh, infosys and ibm etc you can definitely see one question based on on what dates concept it's really easy right how the question will be they usually give a month and a year and our target to find in this month at what are all the dates where wednesday fall or thursday for all sunday fall it's interesting right and for this you don't want to study any new concept the concepts that we already studied earlier in lesson 1 and 2 and 3 we can apply here and you can easily crack the question so introduction is important repeatedly saying it basics you have to know the basics 100 percentage not 99 only if you know 100 percentage basics in calendar you can able to crack all the toughest question in this topic so what is the first question and what is the target see here on what dates of april 2001 did wednesday fall so our target to find on what are all the day on april 2001 where the wednesday fall so let me do one thing right we can find what was the first day of April 2001 our target to find and what are all the day that Wednesday fall on April 2001 but we can find first day of April whether it is Monday Tuesday or Wednesday like that if you find what is the first day April day of the week then it is very easy to find the answer right first day of April so first April 2004 and uh, it is very similar to lesson number two and lesson number three what we solved so year 2001 whether it is a leap year or an ordinary year check the last two digit last two digit is 01 so 01 is not divisible by 4 so we can say this 01 that is an ordinary ordinary year 2001 will be an ordinary year if it is an ordinary year then fifth month we will have only 28 days for february month alone we will have zero odd day. got it so let me write this 2001 as 1600 initially then 400 got it because 1600 and 400 will be 2000 and remaining we have one year that is for first year our target to find first april so before april we have jan month fib and the march and for april our target to find the first date so for 1600 first 1600 years we have zero or day and for first 400 years again we have zero or day for jan month because of jan month will have 31 days we have three or day and it is an ordinary year if it is an ordinary year fifth month will have zero or day next is march so march month will have 31 days that is three or day and the last will be first april that is one so let me add all the values so three plus three will be six six plus one will be seven so totally we have seven days and this seven days can be written as one week plus zero or day got it friends so totally we are getting seven day and we can say this seven day can be written as one week and zero or day which means the first april 2001 will fall on the zeroth or day zeroth or day which is sunday so we can say first april 2001 is sunday our target to find in this month what are all the dates when is day fall but we found first april 2001 is sunday what about second april will be monday what about 3rd April will be Tuesday? What about 4th April? 4th April will be Wednesday. So we can say April 4th will be first Wednesday and all the consecutive 7 will be Wednesday, Wednesday. So we can say option, look at the option 4, 11, 18, 25 will be the answer. Will be the answer for this question. It's very easy, right? So 4, next you need to add another consecutive 7. So consecutive 7 will be 11. Again add 7, that is 18. Again add 7. So instead of look into the option, so 4, 11, 18, 25. So these are the days where Wednesday fall on April 2001. That's it. So whatever be the question, just find 1st April or 1st December, 2nd April, 2nd March. If you find what is the first day of the month, then finding all the remaining answer will be easy. So for this lesson number 4, you don't want to learn any new concept. The same concept that we learned in lesson number 2 and lesson number 3, we are going to apply here. That's it. But it's very important concept for all the competitive exams. Question number two. On what day of May 1945 did Saturday fall? So what is our target? On this month, May 1945, our target to find what are all the days where Saturday fall. It's very easy. What should be our first target? First, find what is 1st May 
1945. Before that, check whether the last two digit is divisible by 4 or not. Here it is 45. So 45 is not divisible by 4. If it is not divisible by 4, then this will be an ordinary year. Next step, this 1945 can be written as 1600 initially plus another 300 will be 1900. So remaining we have 45 years. So this 45 years can be written as first 44 year and the last 45th year our target to find first May. So before May month we have Jan, Feb, March, April and then May. So before May month we have 4 months that is Jan to March, Jan to April then we have May and for the May month our target to find the May first day. So for 1600 we have 0 odd day, for first 300 years we have 1 odd day and for 44 years. For 44 years, check how many leap years we have and how many ordinary years we have. So for 44 day, just divide by 4. If you divide by 4, we have 11 leap years. So 11 leap year and remaining will be 33, right? So 33 ordinary year. And next step, Jan month to April month. Jan month will have 31 days. So 3 odd day. And because of an ordinary year, 5th month will have 0 odd day, right? So Jan, Feb. March month again 3, April 2 and for the May month our target to find the first May. So let me add all the values. So 1 and for every leap year we will have 2 odd day. So 11 into 2 will be 22. And for every ordinary year we will have 1 odd day. So 33 into 1 will be 33. So plus, so 3 plus 3 will be 6, 6 plus 2 will be 8, 8 plus 1 will be 9. So 9 plus 1 will be 10. So 10 and here we have 55. So 55. Once you add all the values, resultant will be 65. So total number of days will be 65. What should be our next step? Divide by 7. So if you divide this by 7, then we can say 9 7 are, If you divide this by 7, 9 7 are 63. So we can say 9 week 63 remaining will be 2 odd day. So finally we can say the first May 1945 lie on the second odd day. What is second odd day? Second odd day which is Tuesday. So we can say 1st May 1945 is Tuesday. But what is our target? Our target to find what are all the days where Saturday fall. But we found 1st May 1945 is Tuesday. What about 2nd May? 2nd May. 2nd May will be Wednesday. 3rd May will be Thursday. 4th will be Friday. So we can say May 5 will be Saturday. So first Saturday will lie on the May 5 and every consecutive summons will be the Saturday. So May 5th will be Saturday add 7. So if you add 7 here 12th will be another Saturday. So 5th April sorry May 5th will be one Saturday and 12th will be the next Saturday and uh, 7 19 will be another Saturday and 26 will be another Saturday right consecutives of 7 that's it. So finally we can say where May 45 Saturday fall on 5, 12, 19, 26. Question number 3. On what date of Feb 1842 did Thursday fall? Our target to find what are all the days in Feb 1842 we have a Thursdays. Right? It's interesting what should be our first step? Our target to check what is the day of the week that is 1st Feb 1842. Before that check whether 1842 is a leap year or an ordinary year. Check the last two digits whether it is divisible by 4. No, it is not divisible by 4. So we can say 1842 will be an ordinary year, not a leap year. Step number 2. So this 1842 can be written as 1600 initially and another 200 will be 1800. And remaining we have 42 years. So this 42 year can be written as first 41 year. And for the 42nd year, our target to find the first February month. And before Feb, we have one month that is January. So January month plus 1st Feb. And for 1600 years, 0 or day. And for first 200 years, we have 3 or day. And for 41 years. So 41 year divide by 4. If you divide by 4, we have totally 10 leap years. So 10 leap year plus 31 ordinary year. And for Jan month, Jan month we have only 31 days. So 3 or day plus 1. So next step, leap year will have 2 odd day. So 10 into 2 will be 20. Year, ordinary year will have 1 odd day. So 31 into 1 will be 1. So 31 plus 20 will be 51. So 3 plus 51 plus 3 plus 1. Finally, we can say 51. This will be 6 plus 50, 58 days. 
so totally we have 58 days convert in terms of week and odd day so divide by 7 if you divide by 7 8 7 are 56 so we can say 8 week plus 2 odd day so finally we can say first Fib 1842 will lie on the second odd day. What about second odd day, which is Tuesday? So, first Fib 1842 will be Tuesday. But our target to find what are all the days we have Thursday. If first Fib 1842 is Tuesday, what about second? Second will be Wednesday. What about third? Third will be Thursday. So, finally, we can say third Fib will be Thursday. Then all the multiples of 7 will be Thursday. Definitely, it's going to be Thursday. So, third Fib will be Thursday. Add 7 here, 10th Fib will be Thursday, 17th Fib will be Thursday, then 24th Fib will be Thursday. That's it. So finally, we can say 3, 10, 17, 24, all these days will fall Thursday in the month of Fib 1842. That's it. Last 4th question. On what day of June 1764 did Monday fall? Similarly, our target to find what are all the days Monday fall, that is on June 1764. So what should be our first step? To find what day of the week is 1st June, sorry, 1st June 1764. So before that check whether it is a leap year or not. So last two digit is 64 and whether it is divisible by 4 or not. Yeah, it is divisible by 4. So we can say 1764 is definitely a leap year, not an ordinary year. 1764 is a leap year. If 1764 is a leap year, then fifth month we will have 29 days. For February month alone, we have one odd day. Got it? So, 1st June 1764, so this can be written as 1600 initially plus another 100 year will be 1700. So, remaining we have 64 years can be written as 63 years. Then the last 64th year, our target to find the 1st June. And before June month, we have Jan, Feb, March, April, May. So, totally we have 5 months. So, Jan month to May month. Then 1st June. So let me do one thing for first 1600 0 odd day and for the first 100 years we have 5 odd day so 5 63 years for first 63 years our target to find how many leap years are there so divide by 4 if you divide this by 4 so we can say 1 4s are 4 so remaining will be 2 23 5 4s are 20 so 15 so we can say 15 leap years plus remaining will be 48 so 48 will be an ordinary year then January month. So January month will have 31 days, 3 odd day. Fib month, because of a leap year, Fib month will have 29 days. So 1 odd day, March, April and May. And the last will be June. So 5. And every leap year will, we will have 2 odd day. So 15 into 2 will be 30. And every ordinary year we have only 1 odd day. So 48 into 1 will be 48. So plus 1, 2, 3. And another, so totally we have 4, 3, that is 12. So 12 plus 1. So let me add this. This will be 78. And uh, this will be 13. And this will be 18. So 96. So totally we have 96 days. Convert this 96 days in terms of week and odd day. So divide by 7. If you divide this by 7. So 1, 7 is 7. Remaining will be 26. So 7, 3 is 21. So remaining will be 5 days. So 13 week plus 5 odd day. So finally we can say 1st June 1764 lie on the 5th odd day. 5th odd day which is Friday. So 1st June right 1st June will be Friday. And what is our target? Our target to find what are all the days where Monday fall. So 2nd June will be Saturday. 3rd June will be Sunday. What about 4th June? 4th June will be Monday. So 4th June where first Monday falls on the month of June 1764. So 4th June will be Monday and all the alternate 7th consecutive numbers will be Monday. So 4th June will be Monday at 7 year, 11th June will be another Monday. Then if you, so 18th June will be another Monday and 25th June will be another Monday. So totally 4, 11, 18, 25 will be Monday on June 1764. That's it. A very interesting and very easy question. You don't want to learn any new concept for solving this question. All the concepts that we learned earlier, we are going to apply here. That's it. Right? So thank you so much for watching this video. Take your aptitude books. You can able to see many number of questions based on this uh, concepts. 
so try to solve all the different question so that you can able to strong on this lesson number four concept so thank you so much for watching this video and it's a small video so if you really like it share it to your friends those who are preparing for any competitive exams so thank you so much bye